mobility training tip. I am actually going to be covering something very simple. It kind of came to my mind this morning. I was working with some of my middle school basketball players, and the same school of thought that we've done with our shoulders and our hips, the controlled articular rotations, where we went through the full range of motion of the shoulder, full range of motion of the hip, through its full range, and back. We're just going to do the same thing at the ankle. Now, like, why is this important? Why are we, uh, like, it's so simple of a motion. You know, if we zoom out, I'm just circling, my eyes are forward. I'll go into more details in a second, but it's really that simple. I'm circling my ankle each direction. But why do we want to take care of our feet first? Why do we want to hone in here? One, it's our base ground support to the ground, okay? So if we're lacking mobility, stability, whatever, at the ground structure, then we're going to have things on up the kinetic chain that are going to be affected. So if you have weak ankles, that aren't moving correctly, then the knee's gonna take a little more force, okay? A little more banging, pounding. So you must address the root, your base, your balance, where your feet touch the ground, okay? We spend so much time maybe trying to fix something else in our body without addressing our feet first, and that might actually be causing our imbalances. So we're gonna start here, eyes forward on fixed object, and go hands here, here, however. I've personally been doing this because I need to stretch my lat more, and I just circle, my ankle through its full range of motion. I do about 10 or so, then I switch directions. I'm a plant foot. Think about pushing your big toe down into the mat. Think about pulling your pinky toes up to engage your shin. That's gonna create a flat foot where you actually have a wider foot to balance with, okay? Your foot will have a tendency to wanna to curl up like that. You wanna work on pushing big toe down Pulling up on this side, so that creates a wide foot here. So again, you're circling, and your leg will want to maybe externally rotate here. So think about internally rotating it by thinking about trying to get your toenails of your big toe to touch the mat. So now you're internally rotated, and then you can just circle. Other side, same thing. Push big toe down. Pinky toe side is pulled up using that shin muscle. For my jiu-jitsu guys, it's gonna help you build an active hook that you can use when you're playing butterfly guard, looking to uh, control people with your feet. That shin muscle engagement is huge for proper gait, proper running. So look to engage that the entire time you're doing this motion. So simple, but there's a lot of little cues, and I think there's beauty in simplicity, and I think there's a lot of complexity within simplicity. If you really dive into it and focus on little things, the awareness, the breath, you start seeing that other things speak to you, how that integrates into the rest of the body. And then from there, you uh, just add them to your team, feel better, more movement autonomy, more vital, more performance. And that's what I'm looking to bring to you guys. Every time I make a video, I want you to walk away feeling, hey, I feel better. That's the whole goal. Big things in the new year, click below for uh, the free movement ebook. And also help me get to 250 subscribers.